This is the Frugal Gardener. I'm back in the garden. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in late September. And I am in the beginning of my transformation. In about a week, all this will be gone. I've already started to take everything down from the summer, the vines, from the tomatoes and uh, the green beans. I'm waiting on a few of the squash. I have some tomatoes here, but those are not going to be affected by the changeover. So what I have to do next is basically rip the rest of this out. Then I'm going to amend the soil and my neighbors who built this are going to put up the uh, polycarbonate so that I can convert this back into my greenhouse for the winter. Most of this here are uh, either starters or pots that I'm going to use uh, throughout the winter in my um, my mini uh, tunnel. So this is area one, let's call this, because this was my first uh, in-ground garden. And now I'm gonna show you the second and third areas that I'm also gonna transform for my endless summer series. So this is my second area. This is the garden that I am most proud of because I came up with this idea to use crates I'm not a young man anymore, so this is perfect. I don't have to do a lot of bending. It's off the ground, and it's easy for me to just reach out and do what I need to do. But the best part of this is the configuration. I can change this whenever I want, any way I want. What I just done, well, yesterday, I took out the bins. And these bins were sweet potatoes that grew in here all summer. So what I'm going to do is take out, well, I'm going to harvest the sweet potatoes and then I'm going to amend the soil and I'm going to use that same soil to grow cabbage and, well, pretty much just cabbage in this one right here. So these are the bins that I am talking about. If you're familiar with my channel, you're familiar with these bins, especially this orange one. It's been around for a long time. So those bins came out of here and they're going to go back in here as soon as I get my sweet potatoes. The beauty of this, well, there's a lot of good things about it is, but in, in particular, what I like the most is that it's insulated. This, these um, milk crates they're all obviously filled with soil. Go all around the whole area. So that's going to insulate my soil. It's going to insulate my plants. And I already know it works because I've done it for two winters. And when you see the finished product, when you see what I've done this year, I'm actually going to improve this because I have some hoops to go over the top. And this is actually greenhouse material that I had left over. I have new greenhouse material that's going to go over the hoops and it's going to be great. I'm excited about it. That's going to take place next week also. This is my new addition. I just pulled out, these are old <laughs> air conditioner uh, covers or you know the, the grates you put around them and uh, my nephew, the frugal nephew and I basically pulled this out this right here is um, Malabar uh, spinach. So it's quite a bit in there. It takes a lot to, to make a meal. And that's all that's left in here that's worth salvaging. I also grew corn in here. I grew sorghum in here. All this stuff is coming out. All this stuff will be gone within the next week. And this is a roughly five by five foot rustic garden built by my son-in-law. And so basically 
this is also going to be leafy greens I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in here but this is the third and final area that I'm going to be working with this winter so I wanted you guys to have an idea of what I am about to do I would like for you to subscribe to my endless summer series because a lot of people are home now a lot of people have been thinking about gardening in the winter didn't have the time or just thought it was too difficult it's not really that hard and um, I would like to show you how I do it I mean people do things differently but in my case I just basically stick to uh, broccoli uh, asparagus Brussels sprouts not asparagus I don't know why I threw that one in um, cabbage lettuce spinach that kind of thing you don't have to water it as much you don't have to be out in the cold as much for the most part it's covered it does do well most of what I grow does well um, in the cold temperatures and it's a new food source I mean it, you know saves you money in the long run but enough about that for now I just wanted to show you the three areas that I'm going to be working on I'm going to get rid of these morning glories they're all over the place I can't seem to get rid of them but that's a separate issue bottom line is we are about to transform these three beds for the winter so that we can continue growing year-round hence the name endless summer please join me this is the frugal gardener remember when you grow your own food you always know where it comes from you guys have a great day